Hello everyone, this is Manish Chauhan from jagunvestor.com and today I am going to show you how you can change your Aadhaar card details online. So the first thing is you have to go to this URL. Once you go there, you will see a screen like this. Now there are four things mainly you, uh, you need to do in order to change your Aadhaar card details. So the first step is that you need to enter your Aadhaar number here uh, at this place and then you have to put the text verification code and click on the send OTP button. Once you do that, then the screen will change a bit and here you have to enter your OTP number which you will get on your registered mobile number. Then you have to, then you have to click on this button login. Now once you do that, you will come to this next screen where it will ask you what are the, what are the changes you want to do. Now there may be cases where someone wants to change their name or let's say address or email ID. So just choose whatever you want to change and then click on submit. In my case when I was changing uh, details I just changed my address that's all. So once you click on submit you will come to the next screen. Here you have to enter your, your details which you want to change. For In my case I wanted to change my address so I I entered all the new details now once you enter all the details at the end it will ask you uh, to either modify or or proceed so you have to click on the confirmation link and click and click on the proceed button once you do that you will come to the next screen here you will have to upload uh, uh, some document which verifies the change which confirms the change so in my case I submitted a bank statement which showed my new address so what you can do is you can take the PDF of your bank statement and very important thing is you will have to sign that so what I did is I took the printout of my bank statement first page which showed my address new address I uh, I signed on that document and then I scanned it back so make sure that whatever document you are going to submit you take a printout you sign on it and then you scan it back so the scanned version can be in a PDF format or it can be a PNG file or JBG file whatever it is once you do that uh, choose the file and then f f wherever it is stored in, uh, on your computer and once you do that in in few seconds uh, you will see the submit button okay once you see that so in this case you can see that I have submitted this uh, proof and once it is uploaded you will automatically see this submit button which will be clickable so you click on it and as the next step you will have to choose a BPO service provider uh, which will process uh, all your all your changes so in my case what I did is I I clicked on this first one because I see that uh, their average request processing time is just six hours whereas the other one has one days and two hours so in my case I chose this one you can choose any one of them once you click or click here then click on submit and then it will tell you that your update request is complete it will tell you the date when you have submitted it and it will also give you a URN number now make sure that you make a note of this number you can either print it or you can download a PDF file which will have this number so this is the process of updating the details of your Aadhaar card. Now, this was the first step, the overall all thing. Now, in next few hours, whenever you submit the details after that, in few hours or maybe after one or two days, the processing will happen. The backend team will make all the changes and then you will be able to uh, download the new Aadhaar card. Now, the first step is to check if what is the status of your of your chain so just make the note of this number and now we will see that how you can check the status of your change here is how you do it you have to go to this link which is uh, this one here you can you have to first enter your Aadhaar number and then you have to enter the URN number which we just saw just make sure that it doesn't contain slash so for example here you can see an example just remove the slash and just enter the whole number okay once you do that click on get status button and then it will exactly show you what is the status so in my case 
uh, it is it says that it has been verified and awaiting approval so i did this just after i submitted my request just after uh, 10 15 minutes i did it hence it is showing that it is awaiting approval so once it is approved i think it will change that it will change and it will show that it is approved and now it's ready and you can download the new aadhar card okay so this was the process of checking the status and now we will see how to download your aadhar card let us see how to download your new aadhar card now for that the first thing you have to do is you have to go to this URL once you do that uh, here you can see there are two options one is I have enrollment ID and I have other so here you have to choose you have to click here and after that you have to enter your Aadhaar card number here you have to put your full name here you have to put your pin code and then the uh, verification code and after that you will have to click on uh, uh this uh, get one time password button once you do that you will get the otp on your registered mobile number it will say something like this so once you click on confirm only then it will send the uh, otp to your number once you get the otp on your number at, then you have to enter uh, the otp here and then click on validate and download button once you do that you will see a PDF which gets downloaded. Now, just click on this PDF. This is the this is the PDF of your of your Aadhaar card. Now, once you click that, you will see that it is asking for password. Now, what is the password? Your PIN code is the password. So make sure you enter your six digit uh, PIN code. Once you enter that and click on submit, you will uh, the, this PDF will open and this will be your Aadhaar card. So. Uh, I would suggest that make the changes, uh, put the request for changes and then after one or two days to be, to be on the safer side, check your status after two days and then you can download your Aadhaar card. So you can just uh, cut out the Aadhaar card part. So this is, this part is, you know, you can cut down uh, this part. You can take a color print out, you can cut it down by Caesar and then you can use this Aadhaar card. It is totally allowed. I hope you understood the whole process. So that's all. Keep visiting jagoinvestor.com. Thanks a lot.